Monday morning everyone. So today is going to be another scorcher, um, warmer than it was yesterday. Today it is 37 degrees Celsius, which is what, 97, 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Very hot. So we're getting started on our CSA. Um, and I just thought I'd let you take a look. So we're in our tomato house. Um, I have picked three baskets, three heaping four liter baskets of uh, cherry tomatoes because... So what we're doing this year, um, we're doing two days a week for CSA. Last year we always did the Thursday, just one day a week. This year we're doing Tuesdays and Fridays. We have 24 families on Tuesday and 20 families on Friday. Um, and I need 24 pints of cherry tomatoes for tomorrow. So three baskets give me that. I get about eight pints out of each four liter basket when it's heaped like that. So I just want to show you. These are, I mean, I've harvested. It might be hard to see on camera, but there are still a ton of ripe tomatoes left. Um, we'll pick them for market. We'll do that tomorrow. We always usually pick our cherry tomatoes the day before um, and put them into our masters, which is this and cover it with newspaper and they'll ripen a little bit more overnight. So I just wanna show you the varieties we have. This one here is indigo cherry, very nice large size sweet tomato. Then we have the indigo kumquat. This one here isn't quite ripe, but by tomorrow it will be. Um, so the indigo cherry is like a black purple and goes into a red at the bottom and the top when it's ripe. The indigo cherry or the indigo kumquat is the black purple and it goes into a yellow when ripe. Then we also have our orange torangina. I'm going to say that wrong, but we get all these seeds from Paramount, so I'll put the actual names in the description box. And then we have our red favorita, which is also a nice, beautiful, sweet red cherry tomato. So that is it for this greenhouse. We are going to do a video on how we upkeep these. Um, but for today, I'm just going to take you along from greenhouse to greenhouse to show you what we're harvesting for CSA. And we are in greenhouse number one, um, where Haley is harvesting onions. She's just gone out to get a, a bucket to put them in. So these also go into our CSA. Beautiful green onions. We bunch them first and then uh, wash them off, put them into a bucket with a little bit of water and that's another crop that we can harvest the day before. And this is our onion bed if you all remember. We're getting down to the end of these ones but we have also transplanted more on this end. So we're just going to continue on through this whole um, empty bed and we'll get that done. Probably not today because it's going to be super hot. But, uh, oh, something else I want to show you is we planted more cucumbers. We have so many, actually. I'm going to bring you down to number uh, three to see what we're going to harvest down there. We have so many cucumbers, guys. So in here, we just use the 12-inch uh, Pantera pots. I think we have 27 pots here. We did some drip irrigation along them, planted two cucumbers in each, and we are going to string them up to the ceiling as well. Hey. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you all done? I just gotta wash these. Oh, so you're done harvesting. Yeah. Awesome. I'll go uh, help you out. So Haley is um, getting the onions ready to wash. We just trim off the long roots and then give them a good rinse with the hose and put them into these five gallon buckets and they're, they stay nice and clean. Look at that. Beautiful, I love the smell. Mm -hmm. That's so, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna head down to number three. Okay, so we are in greenhouse number three and I have to pick, we have uh, 24 families, so I wanna pick four large slicing cucumbers. This variety is Corinto. I want to pick four for each um, basket, so I need 96 
cucumbers. And that, my friends, will definitely not be a problem. Like, look at these beauties. There's so many large ones. There's a lot of small ones too, but we just keep picking and uh, they just keep producing. So I think we have a bird in here. Oh, we do. So pretty. Um, okay, never fails. My phone always rings. So I'm going to get picking 96 cucumbers and I will be right back. All right, so there we go. I got 96 cucumbers, nice sized cucumbers. Like there's that one's a monster. They're all beautiful, and I got that off of just this one row. Wowzers! And I'm just gonna run these cucumbers up to the uh, cooling system, and uh, I cannot handle this heat, guys. Um, and then I'm going to go and pick some. Uh, peppers. We're going to try to get each person a pepper. So here is Wayne weed walking around uh, the pepper house. So I'm going to wait until he's done. You, my dear, are not going into the house like that. <laughs> Woo! Getting warm, eh, Hale? So we are now going to pick our peppers. Um, these are a greenhouse variety. We're in greenhouse number four. So in this greenhouse, we have our beefsteak tomatoes and our... Um, some of our uh, greenhouse variety peppers. So we're going to pick the largest of the peppers, which also helps the, the plant produce more too. We got to get these bigger ones off. And we're just going to give them one each for this week um, at the green stage. These are a red pepper, but we are picking at a green stage. So we'll show you when we're done. And there we go, 12 peppers just like that. 24. 20, or 24, <laughs> sorry. Um, they're not massively big, but they're getting there and it's going to do the plant a lot of good, like I said, to get these off. So, it is warm in here. Okay, and I said earlier that I was bringing the um, cucumbers up to the cooling system. I meant up to the garage. Uh, the cooling system is right there, but we never put the cucumbers in a cooler or a fridge. You just leave them out in a cool cooler dark area so the garage is fine in these totes and the peppers we are going to leave right there for now and we'll move them into the cooling system later on and they're starting to pick our cilantro and parsley out of the lettuce house or out of, yeah out of the lettuce house and uh i think it's break time eh, Hale? <laughs> i think so is that good check oh yeah let's check 936 Nine. that's it <laughs> we're, we're having an early break guys so thanks for following us along and uh, we still have lots of stuff out of the lettuce house that we're going to pick but we're not going to show that today and every single greenhouse that we showed you um, we're going to go through and show you how to how we maintain it greenhouse by greenhouse though. So that'll be in the next video. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.